I see great things in your future You're gonna spend this hour at your computer Psychic bitch is gonna be your witch tutor That's all learn about the psychic bitch It's all black magic words we are saying And sacrificial goats we are slaying And state fair fees we are paying Come and see the spender on your website For the collective of clairvoyance That's not a psychic bitch Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. Welcome to hour four of Garbage Day. Video game two. Yep. We've got a very special surprise before we get into hour four. We have Frank Franklin West, who is uh, now starting, as you can see on the uh, on the on the live stream, yep. starting into Bullet Witch, special edition Bullet Witch. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You may also notice that their intro video, which is pre-rendered, drops frames. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. not the stream. Okay. <laughs> no, that's that's okay. not the game. Like. That's not. In, t- in 2013 AD, demons walk the earth. <laughs> oh, is that right? Is there does, is there a weapon wheel, and one of the words is just the word cruel? <laughs> um, I think one of the one of the spells is cruel something maybe. Okay, cool. Well, that's fucking kick ass. Wow. All right. So I'm gonna skip uh, right yeah. to the end of scenes, of course. Frank, can you give us a quick sort of uh, again a quick sort of summary of what this game is before we you know let you uh, get into uh, chaos mode? It's a third person shooter. If you removed everything responsive and fun, <laughs> and made it so that all of all attacks from either you or enemies either instantly kill or do nothing. Um, Great. And that's and you cast spells and the spells are all really terrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the that's part. Part. There's like there's like one one or two spells that are ridiculously too good and the rest of them are terrible. <laughs> all right, so well, you... put you in prison. Enjoy oh, your yeah. game. Chai Chai actually yeah. mentions one very important thing you may see, which is that physics. Um, if you if a physics object touches you while it's moving at all, you instantly die. So I'm hoping to see that a lot. <laughs> Just like Bye, real life. Frank. <laughs> Goodbye, Frank. Yay. Good luck to good luck to you. you. Kicked him from the call. Wow. No, 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 no. <laughs> Wait, no. There's an entire video room set up to call Frank West Video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's down there. <laughs> so I see. He's on okay. a video call by himself. <laughs> yeah, you can go hang out with him. Uh, so I am your host for the hour. My name is Adam Bozarth. You probably have heard of me from the F Plus podcast. He's my Left friend on the radio. Right? I'm your friend on the internet. You may have heard of me from the internet. Um, also in the room is Lemon. That's me! Kamquat's up. Oh, hi. Isfahan. I'm still here. And our favorite Finn, Montreth. Hello. They don't know Thanks, any Montreth. other Finns. Thank you, Montreth. Thank you for joining us, Montreth. It's such a wonderful uh, treat to hear your voice again amongst us, if I do say so myself. Thank you for joining us for Psychic Bitch. That's I, me, the psychic, psychic bitch. bitch. <laughs> psychic bitch. This is a doc pr- uh, provided to us by, uh, I want to say, the 2020 MV, uh, a contender for MVP of 2020, Secret Gagent 69. Gagent 69. <laughs> One really of many, just many documents. Throwing so many just dingers. Dingers. <laughs> I understand your baseball metaphor. <laughs> of course, as does everybody. Um, so we're going to take a look at this uh, our, uh, this doc is called I'm a Psychic Ass Bitch and I think we need to learn about the Psychic Ass Bitch uh, herself which I, I believe is she goes by Da Boss um, <laughs> and Lemon can you can you just read the about us section about the boss? Yeah, yeah. Now I don't know if it if it occurred to you that the uh, uh, the uh, owner of a website called Psychic Bitch would be a thin, white blonde lady. Uh, but you know, you should have guessed <laughs> it, and you're right if you did. Uh, okay, so about the boss. The uh, boss is the glue that holds our independent psychics together. She's based in Lafayette, Indiana, but we do have a storefront. This is, okay. She nope. Is, she is, what? Oh, but we do not have a storefront. We do not have a storefront. There's no brick and mortar here. We are strictly an internet business. We really like being able to give away our readings for free. Most of us have seen times when money was tight and things were so stressed, 
we are grateful we can be there when it happens to you. And we hope when your finances improve that you'll be able to show your gratitude by booking private readings with any of our psychics. Right? We're not like There's other businesses in that we don't have a storefront or products. <laughs> <laughs> Or sales. Uh, so how do you're asking a question yeah. how do we give away our free psychic readings with no hidden costs we post the answers here on our website our psychics are willing to give you a free sample psychic reading in exchange for a little internet attention they volunteer their time to answer your questions in exchange for links and promotions going back to their sites as you choose a favorite psychic or two or more, be sure to visit their sites and sign up for mailing lists and post a comment if you can. Let them know if you really do appreciate all of their time and effort. Okay, Lemon, mm. I have to ask, is there anything in this doc that explains the tiny chihuahua in the crystal ball? Can you say the word chihuahua again and again and again? <laughs> Can I get petrodactyl and it's chihuahua? I'm so okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I, I believe I believe that the chihuahua is their uh, mascot. Uh, it's it's a sort of a well. I'll I'll put it in the stream once I have a second. But uh, but it Look, is. I, I'm saying a... it the Finnish way. I am Finnish, and I'm sticking to it. I know. I love it. No, I know. I'm saying everyone else says it wrong. Is what I'm yeah. saying to you. Yeah. Like yeah. that is the way that I want to pronounce from now on. Uh, am I going into the history here, Adam? No, I believe okay. that uh, Isfahan should tell us about the history of the psychic bitch. Great. Oh, okay. Uh, they just, uh, they're really getting their mileage out of that chihuahua, by the way. <laughs> just... <laughs> That's not how that's pronounced. <laughs> oh, I, I apologize. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, American, and I'm speaking it the American way. <laughs> this is just how it sounds when it comes out of an American mouth. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, so there is a uh, clearly a uh, clip art poser model of a, like... Uh, like a red Sonia barbarian woman type mm -hmm. yeah. dominatrix lady <laughs> holding a sword. Oh, nice. That is an uncomfortable looking outfit. I got a post in the stream there. Yeah, it's, uh, it, I don't know what it has to do with uh, anything, but anyway, that's the, that's their banner image. It has that CG lady oh, and the, sick. and the, uh, okay, the miniature so, dog sorry, aforementioned. Um, um, the dog, dog looks quite, quite out of place. place. Yes, it, it's just, like, I guess it's like their mascot or something. Anyway, we can speculate all day. Spic psychic bitch began as a joke among three keen psychics on December 13th, 2004. Keen is capitalized, so that's uh, psychics for Commander Keen. Yes. Or, or the comic shoes. movies. Yes. <laughs> the, the three psychics were on a three-way phone conversation venting about how frustrating it can be to hear the same person telling you the same problem day after day. <laughs> <laughs> if only we could predict this. <laughs> this psychic job would be so great if it weren't for all the people telling us about their problems. Uh, oh. uh, it'd like be great if it weren't for the customers. Yeah, they were complaining that their clients were not actually listening to the advice they were sharing with them. The clients would return sometimes daily, asking the same questions over and over, never acting on the advice they were given. The How do I get home? <laughs> <laughs> The three psychics wish that they could just yell at some of their clients rather than being polite. One of the psychics made the remark that they should start a website, Psychic Bitch, where they could actually tell it like it is. They all, they're the Carlos Mencia of psychics. They all laughed and decided to call it a night and ended the call. The next day, the psychic who had the idea for Psychic Bitch, now known as DeVos, decided to log in to her favorite registrar to see if PsychicBitch.com was available. And lo, as in the what opposite was, it, was this you, Lemon? <laughs> and lo and behold it was so she bought it and thus began the saga of psychic bitch gripping uh, psychic bitch began with three keen psychics and the view of their friends on a very humble simple html website mm -hmm. the original psychics decided to keep their psychic names anonymous and used fictional names so they could say whatever they wanted without fear of repercussions our original questions form emailed all of the questions to davos and she then chose which questions to forward to which psychics. Then they emailed their answers back to DeVos. Then DeVos posted each question and answer on our blog. Thank God blogs had been invented by then. We averaged about five answers per week back then, and it took a minimum of one week to get a question answered, and more often three or four weeks. In 2005, the psychics decided to give up their anonymity in order to promote their own sites more. 
Also, DeBoss got a book on writing websites with databases, and in early 2006, DeBoss opened the Bitch Vault. <laughs> she had designed a database for the bitch questions, and she set up a back end where the psychics could log in. I like how they're going into the detail of the, uh, the website <laughs> construction here. All right, you know what? I think I've had enough of the, yeah. website, the story of how a website gets built. And I think we need to get into some of these free readings that this website facilitates. So I think we should skip ahead to the free readings. And if Kumquats Up could be so kind as to okay. read... I'm, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry to interrupt. But I, I do want to point out that the point that you left out was that they complained that the Google... Don't doesn't show them in normal psychic searches because they have yeah. the name bitch. Yeah, so they, they, only they, they just keep they, talking oh. about like website development, like doing SEO yeah. and stuff. And stuff. Yeah, so, so, <laughs> the only way that Google would show us was if the person had the word bitch in the search yeah. word. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was. I'm sorry, we skipped over that. <laughs> um, but I do. Yes, let's get on. But we need to get on to the readings. It's it's it's. Oh, 10 minutes into this thing. So we're not going to get any donations if we don't get into these readings. So that's right. if you could read the post titled Creepy Neighbor from Diamond Panda and and uh, if uh, if um, Montreth, if you could be so kind as to play uh, OA boss who responds to all of these things with fr the free readings. Hello, I'm Diamond Panda. Hello. Long time neighbor of 20 plus years used to be a good family friend since I was little. We would go over to their house and BBQ has been acting really weird and bonkers and looks like a total <laughs> creep now either. Staring like crazy in yard, never waving back, staring, being super nosy. We look up, he stops staring and driving around super slow creepily, watching every day. It's something. It is something. He now has security cameras facing directly in our kids' play area. We block cameras, he moves it. What's his intentions? Uh, <laughs> uh, we, uh, <laughs> yeah, we're at 36.05. Uh, the most recent uh, donation that we have here uh, came with a request. Uh, so, uh, Montreth, I just posted something in chat, and if you would please just read. Uh, that sentence, if you want Okay, uh, this one in the garbage, Jay. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, hold on, my browser doesn't scroll down automatically. Okay, there we go. I went to spring break in Cancun and saw many chihuahuas. Thank you, thank you. Oh, thank you. okay. Yeah. That's, that's where you see them, in spring break. <laughs> that's, yeah. <laughs> okay, and... Uh, my, this is an answer from OA Boss. Yes. Hi, Diamond Panda. Welcome back. It's been a long time. I've missed you. Aquarians can do that. Sometimes what? they come up as in... Sorry? I'm just surprised that uh, Psychic Bitch knew the uh, uh, the astrological sign of the neighbor. <laughs> yeah. Well, she's a psychic. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, you don't want to cultivate your customers, you know? Just really uh, build a relationship. Sometimes they come off as ingenious and clever people, but the negative side of that can make them shocking. Spirit can see that he is paranoid and that he is not thinking clearly. I don't need, think you need to see Spirit to be able to think <laughs> about that. No, uh, never mind. But I'm not sure what the cause is. Spirit can see there will be a, an issue with his car. <laughs> he may be in some kind of accident, or perhaps his vehicle isn't legal, like registration expired, or maybe no insurances, something like that. Spirit oh. says the authorities will eventually notice him, and they may be able to get him the help he needs. But he does not see him harming you. Hope this helps! <laughs> Hope this helps! <laughs> did, did, did uh, really. Maybe he'll be in a car I don't know. <laughs> uh, Lemon, can you read Witchcraft Beginner? Oh, yeah, the witchcraft beginner. Yeah, so my name's Happy22. 
Uh, okay, I'm going to get back from the microphone and get happier. Here we go. I've been practicing witchcraft as a kind of beginner. Not exactly newbie, but I'm looking to further it and try to advance just a bit and make it a daily practice when I want to manifest something. I've been pretty successful in manifesting things in my life with some small spells. Do you see that when I do advance some more time in my witchcraft, that my spells will be more successful? Sometimes I feel my spells don't work. Work. Why is that? <laughs> is the secret ingredient faith? Because I have none. <laughs> There's a reason it's called a witch craft. <laughs> and not a witch art or a witch science. <laughs> it's more of a witch art than a witch science. <laughs> gotta get more Jesus into your life and then your spells will work. <laughs> and a psychic bitch. Mantrith, you, oh, are Mantrith, me. you okay. are Mantrith, you are the psychic bitch. You oh, are. I am the psychic bitch, so right. Uh, howdy, happy 22. Witchcraft is more than just craft. It's a religion, a way of life, and it takes time to really connect with the world and the universe. Learn more about using witchcraft in everything you do, and follow the seasons and the moon cycles when you work your craft. Use witchcraft in all the food you cook. Keep oh, <laughs> that's Yum. why it's called craft macaroni and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> witchcraft macaroni and cheese. Keep charms and ch talismans through your home and meditate, meditate, meditate. Slowly you will learn to feel the rhythms of the universe and then you'll know what spell will work and when the best time to, is to manifest. Check out Mumbles. I'm on her mailing list. She offers workshops and lessons. She even started a podcast recently. Mumbles She's young Dick like you, and you may find her site informative. Mumbles the Dick Tracy villain? <laughs> no, yeah. nobody nobody uses Mumbles anymore. Everybody uses, like, Discord now. <laughs> so, uh, the most recent donation, uh, King Calamari says, Chihuahua! I got you all in check. <laughs> <laughs> I get that. I was in high school when that came out, sure. Yeah. <laughs> Also, um, I'm looking at uh, Frank. Like, like I'm looking at Bullet Witch, and it looks like if Earth Defense Force somehow had less polish. Yeah, totally. it's really, really bad. Yeah. I've seen Frank Blade before. There seems to be a lot of just like, standing there, just standing there firing a gun aimlessly forever. Although, also, I should say, in fairness, Earth Defense Force is actually really fun. So I remember him dying on this particular bridge a lot last time. That's why he's probably standing there, because last time he tried going forward and died. <laughs> well, now that he's on chaos mode, sure. Mm, yeah. Uh, I think we need to move on to a section in Secret uh, Gagent 69's document called Lumi's Magic Conspiracy. Oh, no. Uh, these are the same. These are questions. Uh, this is a back and forth between uh, the psychic bitch and uh, a, a person named Lumi. And I think because of the back and forth, I think we're going to trade trade Lumi off here in a bit. I'm going to read Lumi's first question to the psychic bitch. Great. I have a suspicion. All the people involved against me were taught by someone, one or more persons, to avoid me and make me seen as insane. <laughs> Denying the whole truth after I exposed them, especially the powerful corrupt ones, and they were plotting badly against me, making me lose in many fields. <laughs> he was my former colleague, a former stalker, and implied in the first magic ritual against me. He is a pedophile. He is involved. Is someone else powerful? Are they going to be punished? Thank you. Huh. huh. So that's huh. Lumi's first question. Uh, well, it's a, it's a, it yeah, no, it's a cogent question. Like, I can definitely see what Lumi's saying there. And, uh, yes. Do you want the answers to these or to, uh, just the questions? Oh, no, I totally want to hear the, the response from, uh, from okay. the boss. Hi, Lumi. Spirit doesn't do names, but she's showing me a man who has money and is very greedy, so that narrows it down a lot. <laughs> the Monopoly guy. Oh. 
uh, or is very greedy about acquiring even more money. She feels that he's the foundation of your problems. Spirit says, when this man gets old, his guilt will catch up with him. Good fucking luck with nope. that. And he will develop cancer and die a slow, painful death. No, it's not my face. It's a crying face. So I'm sorry. So far, both of Boss's life. answers have been, uh, I don't know, hope they die. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Something will happen. It's, it's uh, going to be, be okay. a car accident or cancer, maybe. Uh, <laughs> and now, uh, so for the next reply at uh, 2.34 a.m., uh, uh, Lemon, could you read that? Dear boss, it is more complicated than I thought, and I am in the middle of a big nervous breakdown. It's very tough. There are connections up to the president of the country. Yeah, right? And the chief Romanian secret service and greedy corrupt people. Last week, I made a desperate attempt to contact the USA embassy. It is about Antifa, too. Yay! Well, this this is 2020, so... Hang on a second. There we go. (laughs) (laughs) I checked up all my transits, and with all of these retrograde planets, I am hopeless, and I must wait. Wait for what?! God be with me and my sick mother. Thank you. And uh, right after that, at two forty-five a.m., can you uh, 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 come quads up? Can you just read the the next response from Lumi? It's the next response. Yes, the next response. Oh. Dear boss, it is more complicated than I thought, and I am in the middle of a big nervous breakdown. Very tough. There are connections up to the president of the country and the chief Romanian secret services and greedy corrupt people. Last week, I made a desperate attempt to contact USA Embassy. It is about Antifa, too. I checked up all my transits, and with all these retrograde planets, I am hopeless, and I must wait. Wait for what? God be with me and my sick mother. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Isfahan, can you read the next Lumi response at 11 a.m.? Uh, okay. Thank you. Years ago, I asked you about this first stalker. You said he will be exposed. Indeed, he was, but he kept his local position due to his powerful accomplices. Yikes! And that he will get sick and die slowly in pain due to his negative energy. Maybe in the future. Now he is happily married with a stupid, greedy woman, and they have a child. It doesn't matter. I got over that devil. But now from your answer, I guess it is a more powerful figure with a national-slash-international status and position and a lot of powerful accomplices. And no remorse is my feeling. And I can't bother you again and again. Is this one, etc. I must change my thoughts, energies, etc. But I am exhausted! I'm so sorry to ha- you have to endure this, Lumi. Stay well. <laughs> if you like my psychic readings, p- feel free about paying me for a, a private one. <laughs> uh, Lumi's last response is a day later at 5 a.m. saying, maybe I am a bad character, dear boss. Laughing. The problem yeah. is that also affecting my mother. And guess who comes back? Who? For a black magic ritual. It's Lumi. Wow. <laughs> black okay. Magic ritual. Yeah, Lemon, can you read Black Magic Ritual? My former so-called guru, period. A psychic and I thought a friend. A snake that betrayed me, stabbed me on my stabbed me on my back and shared private <laughs> infos to stalkers. He is in touch with many people. Black wizards from Australia and <laughs> India. <laughs> if they performed a black magic ritual or a ritual against me. They, that's it. If they performed a black magic ritual slash a ritual against me, something is wrong lately. I'm not afraid after so many attacks, but I would like to know, period. I got the feeling he sold me for money. Thank you. Me. Spirit says relax. You oh, are I winning this shirt. battle. Spirit says relax shirt. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You are winning this battle. She says you don't see it yet, but you will. She sees you coming to power and the guru falling down a virtual hole. The universe is bringing a reckoning for the guru, and he will be exposed for all his evil ways. It will likely happen around the end of this year. Take care. Live. Love. Bark. (laughs) I'm uh, I'm a little upset with with the boss here, because she should at this point realize... She is getting messages from someone who has um, uh, paranoia and shouldn't really be uh, like engaging because it's 
Well, oh, yeah, well, also, she, also the, the advice she gives is just kind of just kind of sit around and wait. So I guess yeah, that's, 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 a, that's a typical McGick uh, mo, though, right? Yeah. Well, she's a psychic, so if she re- like rejects all the people with mental issues and you know paranoia and whatnot, she would be left with like almost no customers. So. <laughs> Well, July 4th, Lumi returns with a <laughs> new problem. Cheated on roof construction. I avoided this question for months because I'm ashamed. Last fall, I've been contacting a so-called team of people. A so-called team a of so-called people? A so-called team. <laughs> to repair. So they're not, it's not Their actually- coordination was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> to repair my broken roof after two years of scheduling people. And saving money, period. Some of them refused me because of my stalker's connections. Some of them ran away because of the house. <laughs> <laughs> I found, finally, I found some people. Unfortunately, Gypsy. Whoa! Yeah, that's not nice. Whoa. I don't like Lumi. I've been cheated... Well, in I, the to be mo- fair, I do think that Lumi's Romanian, right? Because she's mentioned Romanian before. So, I mean, just a regular Romanian racist would use I the word don't, Gypsy. Yeah. Don't, don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Lumi's canceled. <laughs> yeah. That's fine. I've been cheated in the most meanest way. Money lost, it's still broken roof. I can't sue them because behind them are powerful corrupt men. Your advice? <laughs> Me, I can see why it happened. You were born with Venus, beauty in your house of home and family, and Neptune, delusion, came to a conjunction with your Venus this year. Neptune often brings charlatans into our lives, selling us something too good to be true, so (laughs) ignore him. uh, Ignore ignore this part. (laughs) Neptune will hold the conjunction through March uh, 2021. Be careful, it could happen again. Spirit says in time, karma will catch up with the quote-unquote gypsies. Mm. They may not be persecuted for what they did to you, but they will be persecuted and punished, so one or the other. (laughs) Persecuted. (laughs) I'm going to put up this really relevant uh, image on the stream there. (laughs) Felt summarize the psychic bitch pretty well. Live, love, bark. (laughs) You know, I think I might hate live, love, bark more than live, love, laugh. Yeah, so it's like a... Uh, uh, come what's up. Uh, oh, Lumi yes, has changed her name to Lubina, and oh, on I'm, uh, July... I am, I am a Chevrolet, in fact. Yeah. <laughs> July, on July 13th, at around 7 a.m., she posted sort of a longer post about this roof situation. Uh... Dear boss. Dear boss. When I contacted those bastards at the end of September 2019 and I was in despair, TR Saturn was squaring my moon. Ooh, that's hot. (laughs) Exactly. And TR Neptune was four degrees distance. Safer. Leave some room for Jesus. <laughs> give, me that, give me that Neptune side hug. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Leave room for Neptune. <laughs> I think I was better when I didn't know astrology at all. Agreed. <laughs> yep, sure. Looks like it's now, so. I'm becoming paranoid. Now you're becoming paranoid. Yeah. I, I, I. <laughs> <laughs> people do their roof repairing without astrology it's been known to happen I, I don't know why yeah. from other point of view more subtle because for two years with big efforts I've been searching reliable people and my trusted guru the one that cursed me lately sent all my informations to my enemies they knew all my problems and they acted in the shadow. Besides, with this occasion, some hidden enemies were coming out at surface, so it was meant to be karmic, but it hurts me. The loss, money, and house. I, the 
been saving with efforts, and I am unemployed with a sick mother. This is aerial justice, and they enjoyed my pain without care that we are to help blessy women. Yesterday, I found out who is their grand leader. It is a former Romanian intelligence chef. <laughs> <laughs> A, a general and many corrupt, gritty people with highly connections in USA intelligence and political American circles. Complicated about from this moment and going on. Not only TR Neptune conjunct my Venus, but also TR Uranus and conjunct my, my descendant. Opposites my ascendant until March 2022 on off so I can expect disturbing situations and unreliable persons. In 2021, I will have TR Uranus square my sun, Mars, and TR Saturn square, my ascendant, so I want T have rest at all. Maybe because I'm Uranian, it will be easier. Thank you. And B, by the way, a lawyer told me that I have at my disposal three years from 2019 until 2022 to sue those gypsies, comma, comma, but a prosecutor, he is involved in intelligence, told me that even I would win the trial. Those gypsies, my law, aren't forced to give me back my losses, and they knew it from the beginning. This is corrupt Romania, I, and it's wrong laws. But we're I, I, I. <laughs> Even you would so win this so trial. I'm so sorry the things are always so difficult for you. I wish I had a magic wand. I would definitely wave it over you. Good luck. <laughs> hey, F plus. Mm. It's yeah. time for poetry. Oh! Yay! Yay! <laughs> Psychic bitch poetry. Now, bitch poetry. I know it's not yet. I know it's not yet even Halloween. Not yet Thanksgiving. But Lemon, can you please, since Jack Chick isn't available, mm -hmm. please read Psychic Bitches Christmas? Yeah, so this is Psychic Bitches Christmas, by which I mean Christmas, and then there's Psychic Bitches, plural. Right? Yes. The Psychic Bitches are all off today. Something to do <laughs> with being Christmas Day. Uh. Star breathes in the kitchen making fudge. Bridget is there too. She won't budge. The bread is being baked by Zoe, so her hands may be a little doughy. Uh. I, I, I think this is the first. I think this will be the first time in human history the sentence has been spoken aloud. But bring back the fart fetishists. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay. Entertainment is by dancing, is by the dancing Dona. It, nope, that's not how it is, because nope. a couple... Okay, here we go. So, so... Okay, so... Da, okay, so... Entertainment <laughs> is by the dancing Donda. If her car will start, it's a Honda. You no, know, you don't have to write poems. You can... You don't have to make poems. Whoa. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. <laughs> you can just, like... Get up and do something else. <laughs> it's generous to think this was written in word. <laughs> yeah. Auntie, Auntie Mame is cutting a little star. So and that's what, yeah. That's Auntie Mame spelled as if she were in roller derby. <laughs> yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah, that other meme. <laughs> she's cutting a little star. You wouldn't know it. She's a psychic czar. <laughs> Katrina has <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Katrina has a suspicious cough. She lost her mind. She's a little off. Blunt Bella is stringing popcorn on a string. Angelina and Viper are trying to sing. Oh god. <laughs> Janet Moon. Janet Moon has a Yuletide request. Sure, we'll put the Sopranos to the test. <laughs> Christopher. <laughs> Where did this horse come from? <laughs> That's not <in> the <laughs> um, Northern Light. Oh, oh no. Northern Light is stringing the tree with lights. Only one works, so they won't be too bright. Perfect. Perfect. That one was perfect. <laughs> More of that. Thank you. Um, uh, Celine is shaking the presents under the tree. She wants to know which one's from me. Lady Yoli is late and may not be here. Last anyone knew, she was drinking beer. Party. I want to know more about Lady Yoli's alcoholism. <laughs> That's the last, last scene drinking beer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Pin the tail on the donkey is the popular game. The boss won't let us use Bridget's butt, which is a shame. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. Wow. God damn. Diff- different fetish unlocked. That is a shame. <laughs> Sonia Sweeps is sipping a little Christmas joy, hoping she will get a brand new toy. <laughs> That's in quotes. <laughs> toy. <laughs> All year long, it's sharp tongues from these psychic bitches, except for Karma, who is nice and keeps us in stitches. <laughs> it is time to dine. The fudge is all done. God bless. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everyone. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm celebrating that it's over, and I'm not <laughs> celebrating. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, I agree. Oh, I, am, I uh... think I hate Christmas now. <laughs> oh yeah thanks psychic bitches do it, start do the war on christmas it. Uh, i would like to perform for you a <laughs> little tune a little ditty called while i have a roosevelt dime while i have a roosevelt dime i will call my psychic this time Thinking in retrospect, should I have given Mars more respect? If Mercury turns up a spade, will it be in retrograde? Oh, where is that beautiful Venus? Will she affect my genius? Oh, boo! You had Venus, come on! If the planets were all in line, would that be divine? Will Saturn be sad if Pluto is bad? Mm Mmm, Give the cards a flip. Tell me with your sweet lips. I want to talk to someone that died. <laughs> can you reach? Can you reach the other side? Will I see my grandson again? Will he have his huge grin? Should I kiss it tonight or should I take flight? Will I get married before I get buried? Hopefully not after. <laughs> Will I become a Mormon ghost bride? <laughs> Will I see a tunnel? Will I see the light? Will I? Will it be soon or maybe tonight? My life is bull. It <laughs> is it because the I moon is full. <laughs> is it because the moon is full? Take my hand and read my palm. Will love life. Will my love life bomb? Will my devotion will get me a promotion? My psychic is not old, but her word is true gold. When Jupiter is red, you will know it all, she said. My psychic spoke late, and now I own nine ninety-eight. <laughs> Man. Oh, oh, oh. It's like extreme. Like I don't even know what. I don't. I, was just like, I don't even know. I was almost auto writing right there. Mm-hmm. Is Isfahan? Can you please I... read us Whipping Queen? Okay. <laughs> and please make it's, it a rap. It's... I was thinking Abba. Uh, Rules with the whip instead of a maze. The place a robe with a black lady. She rides a broom. Horses need groom. No king at her side. No man has tried. Yes, it will be a double wide. Just enough for her to abide. You know I'm not lying when crowned. She'll be crying. The extra pay will be handy. Crawl wire. <laughs> Yeah, 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 you got it, you got oh, it. Okay. <laughs> she is too young for such a sharp tongue, so Car may have to slap. <laughs> yes, it will be more than just a simple tap. <laughs> slap. Best wishes, the unknown poet. <laughs> That's my good. favorite, my favorite couplet in that poem was the word "slap." Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, a yard sale! <laughs> <laughs> Billy Mays is here. Uh, let's check in on the total: three thousand seven hundred 
$707.35. That's an amazing amount of money. We can get more for the National Network of Abortion Funds. Please keep donating. Tell people you know to donate. Let's keep it going. We've got how many hours left in the 24 terrible hours? Uh, it's like a million, I think. A it's, million. I think it's a million. A million hours. Yeah. Keep it up. We're almost at 4,000. Let's get to 4,000 before hour four is over. Oh, thanks, Thank you, you Healy's. <laughs> Thank you, Healy's. So let's uh, continue on. I think we only have a few more minutes left with the psychic bitch. And I think that we've we've learned uh, nothing so far. So I think... <laughs> <laughs> I, think, <My> son. <laughs> I think we need to figure out why we're uh all so far ahead uh, of the psychic bitch uh, i think we need to, to 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 explore together the five signs that you have psychic abilities and i think we'll just sort of hand this off uh to each other i'll read all the right. intro and then we'll go let's see what's the order in the in uh, the thing adam lemon kumquat isfahan mantra Lemon, Kumquat, Isfahan, Mantrith, Adam, we'll read in that order. And uh, I'll read the first up until uh, one, and then you go next to uh, one. I Lemon. forgot the order, so just... Uh, so you're after, you're after Isfahan. Isfahan. Once okay, Isfahan, Isfahan stops reading, you do it. Yeah, okay. Psychic abilities are innate to all humans. Some people's abilities are naturally strong, such as a medium and clairvoyance, and for others, it is weaker, often limited to feelings of intuition. But do you sometimes feel like you have a particularly strong intuition and perhaps it could be something more there are several signs that you could look for to indicate that you have strong psychic abilities that you may be able to develop further all people give off psychic energy and those with so strong psychic abilities can sense this energy when they meet people some can even see this energy in the form of auras sometimes this energy lets you know that you are compatible with someone giving you an immediate feeling of connection. If a person means you harm or wants to deceive you, it is possible that you will feel the negativity in their energy. If you are good at reading people, when you meet them, you may be sensing their energy, a sign of strong psychic abilities. See Number someone one. coming at you with a knife. They may be intending to hurt you. <laughs> Uh, thank you very much for the anonymous forty-seven dollar donation that got me to see the sixty-nine animation again. <laughs> um, uh, number one, you are a good judge of character and situations, as well as people, objects, places, and situations give off energy. That's a what? Sentence. Yeah, as well as people, <laughs> objects, and situations. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I got it. As well as people, objects, places, and situations give off energy, like a you know half life, right? <laughs> this energy is often a combination of the energy of the people who are there and who have been there before or made the object and striking situations such as natural disasters. Uh, they also have their own energy. Just like with individuals, those with strong psychic abilities can often sense this energy, giving the gut feeling that perhaps they shouldn't walk down a certain street or perhaps that they should visit a shop that they are walking past because they think it will give them something they need. Psychic powers. <laughs> Number two. Number two. You regularly have a feeling of deja vu. Whoa. Deja vu is the feeling <laughs> that you have been somewhere before, met someone before, or that you are experiencing the same set of circumstances for the second time. Individuals with strong psychic abilities often experience deja vu as a result of seeing the future in their subconscious, often while sleeping or daydreaming, without realizing that they were experiencing a clairvoyant vision. They get a sense of deja vu when this vision then comes to pass. So if you experience deja vu often, you may have clairvoyant abilities. Mm, okay, okay, yep. Uh, sign number three, uh, you have vivid dreams. <laughs> Some people have clairvoyant dreams, which they often only recognize as such when the things that have happened in their dream come to pass. Hmm. For many people, oh. it's easier to exercise their psychic abilities in the dream state as they are not preoccupied with the worries of the world or limited by thoughts <laughs> that such things are impossible. <laughs> clairvoyant dreams are generally more vivid than that, that regular dreams. And your attention is drawn to details such as particular furnishings in a room or a particular tree. Your attention is off also drawn to old man. To dates and times. You'll be drawn to look at the date on a newspaper of the time of a clock. 
This is part of the clairvoyant process, is when you see these things in the real world, you will know that your vision will soon come to pass. Clairvoyant dreams may feature people and places that you have not yet met or visited, as unlike regular dreams that rely on your memory, clairvoyant dreams have addition input. Clairvoyant dreams what? also... Ge- you heard me. <laughs> you heard him. Clairvoyant dreams also generally stick in your memory for longer than other dreams, though they do fade. So if you think you're having clairvoyant dreams, it is a good idea to journal them first thing in the morning while they're still strong in your memory. You regularly see the same number sequences. (gasps) Or 2069. Many people see the same number sequences repeatedly, frequently through the day in a way that seems frighteningly coincidental. Coincidental, sorry. You wake up in the middle of the night at 3.33 a.m. And Nimbab starts singing. Uh, Your morning coffee comes to 3.33, and you'll discover that you are on page 333 on your book. Oh, no. <laughs> Ooh. Thanks, Ingrid. Emba follows you around. <laughs> There's a hefty chunk of change being made by Ingrid. I just wanted to shout that out. Thank you so much, Ingrid. Many Thank you people. so much for getting us to 4,000. <laughs> Many people not only see the sequences, but have an unexplained feeling that they are important in some way. These people are probably seeing angel numbers, which are messages from angels and spirit guides that will in the spiritual plane. With the exception of those very, very, so- very strong psychic abilities, it is extremely difficult for humans to sense the spiritual plane and therefore communicate with angels and spirit guides directly. Angels and spirit guides use numbers to cut through the filters that we have built up around ourselves and send us messages. Why numbers? The universe is constructed according to a geometric plan, which is why number patterns regularly appear in nature and mathematics holds as a universal truth. As a component of the universe, each number vibrates at a different frequency and carries with it that frequency communicates a different spiritual message. As the inhabitants of the spiritual plane, angels and spirit guides can tap into the geometric matrix Thank of the you, universe Mr. and Data. specific numbers to send specific messages. <laughs> While all people have angels and spirit guides watching over them, those with strong psychic abilities are more in tune with the spiritual plane and therefore see the numbers more frequently and have a stronger feeling that they are significant. Read more on angel numbers and the meanings at Neurology Sign. And uh, number five is you had an imaginary friend. <laughs> so, <laughs> all of us gathered here today, what did we learn from I'm a Psychic Bitch? I learned, I learned that, the- that she's definitely more of the second than the first. <laughs> <laughs> I learned that the word bitch rules for SEO. Uh, I'm going <laughs> to tell every SEO expert I meet. Yeah. yeah, the yeah. One, the yeah. one cool trick I learned. Yeah, I'm going to convert all my SEO over to Yahoo since that worked for, <laughs> that worked for this business. I yeah. learned. Yeah. Oh my god, 420 and 69 are the same thing. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> so those, those numbers are communicating directly with us. That oh is, my god, I'm psychic. I keep seeing the same numbers over and over again. Our angel guys, and uh, they're they're watching over us, <laughs> letting us know that the weed number and the nice number. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I have no proof of this, but I, I I sussed it out. I'm pretty sure it's spirit that that the boss keeps referring to is just a dog. <laughs> the because it, yeah, saying, is it the dog is it the chihuahua it's either the chihuahua or the doberman that she's shaking hands with in that <laughs> founder picture oh yeah 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 yeah. Uh, other, one of the other things i've learned is that uh bullet witch looks like shit yeah i was gonna ask can we get a quick frank Le- frank west uh, bullet witch update that is, uh, that is I, I hope it's as fun to play as it is Attractive to look at. Uh, it's less because you could do this at any time. <laughs> uh, it's it's so bad. It's it feels so bad. Like <laughs> he's uh he's actually playing as the the psychic bitch uh, poser uh, model from the from the. 
from yeah, the not far off. <laughs> yeah. Still upset they didn't call her broom gun the bo- her boomstick. <laughs> no, it's called a uh, a spell wand. No, a broom gun. Ah, fuck! It's <laughs> even stupider than the words I'm coming up with. <laughs> You are also seeing by, right here, by the way, uh, I have a spell that immobilizes almost everyone around me with ravens, and I have another spell that costs the same amount, which um, throws a rose, and sometimes the rose makes a spear hit somebody. So, which was the spell that just made you die? Um, the, the bullets. <laughs> <laughs> it's the spell of uh, every one of these guys does like 1% of your HP per bullet, except sometimes they do 50, and there's no reason why. How much left do you think you have in that game, by the way? I am almost halfway through, but like I said, I'm going to do wow. all the content missions. No, I am really... What I'm learning is just how much... How many things I can dash past with the very broken dash. Yeah, there's, there seems to be two moves. There's stand still and shoot at something for five minutes, and then there's push the dash button ten times. Yes, well, I do want to say, Lemon, it's not the dash button... Um, to dash, you hit a shoulder button to open up the magic menu, and then you click an L3, which is usually crouch, but in this oh, case... Oh, <laughs> okay, that makes that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> lot of sense. Uh, thank you so much. I'm so glad that we've uh, we've hit uh, uh, weed.nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. nice. So good. Uh, we will be coming back with our five. You know, usually I would be happy that I'm going on break, except for I am going on break oh, uh, in advance of our five, which is the uh, which is the Pooner and the Sniz hour. <laughs> Pooner and the Sniz. Uh, they've got fired from their previous radio job. They have a new radio <laughs> job. Yeah. And uh, I think it's gonna go. I think it's gonna go pretty well. Yeah. I also if, the, say, if the SCC doesn't shut <laughs> us down. <laughs> Not to interrupt with more Bullet Witch, but I've just realized there's one part of this game that I think will be really difficult, and it's this bit, where I fight a giant flying fish eyeball monster on an airplane. <laughs> so I'm going to I'm gonna wait to show that off, because I want you all to see if I failed miserably. Uh, good luck, Frank, and uh, applause, for, uh, applause for Shell Game there. Uh, Thank Shell you very game much, Shell Game. Uh, for the last two hours, uh, or last two hours, uh, big thanks to... Uh, Ingrid and uh, so many uh, donators, uh, so much, so many wonderful donations. We really appreciate it, uh, everything. And we will be back with the Pooner and the Sniz Hour. You genuinely, genuinely would regret missing it. Okay, Stick around. Bye.